Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Tumblr tutorial. In this video, we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to do a full rhinestone tumbler. We're gonna throw a decal on there and we're going to bling out the whole thing using the scatter method. This was a lot of fun for me to make. It took me a really long time and was very tedious, but I really enjoyed putting the tumbler together and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Everything I'm using will be linked down below in the description box. I'll also have some discount codes down there for you as always, as well as links to all of my social media pages if you would like to follow along with me anywhere else. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials every Tuesday and Saturday. Okay, I think that's it. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go. So for this rhinestone tumbler, we're going to use a few different stones. So we're going to use the Spring Court Flynn Sister Supply Shop exclusive mix. We've got some aqua stones in various sizes, and then we've also got some solid white stones in SS6. I'll have all the sizes and everything listed down below in the description box for you, along with a link and a discount code if you would like to get the same ones. So I'm going to start with my 20 ounce traditional tumbler from Craft Haven. I prepped it by sanding it down, washing it with some rubbing alcohol, and then I painted it with metallic gold spray paint and the first thing we're going to do is do the bottom of the tumbler now you can finish your bottoms in a multitude of ways but i decided to just do a really simple vinyl bottom with my made by manny and mal really simple logo so i'm going to layer on some it's like a kind of cranberry glitter vinyl and then my logo in teal and i'm just going to put that right on the bottom of my tumbler for the 20 ounce traditional tumbler the circle size that you'll want to do is 2.16 inches and that will fit perfectly in that little bottom divot there for your decoration now I'm going to put my cup on my turner and we're going to epoxy and glitter it. So I'm taking about 20 milliliters of my Flint Sisters epoxy and I put in a little bit of Monica 7 from Peachy Olive Glitters. You can use any extra fine glitter that you have. You can use mica powder or anything you want. The whole goal here is to give the surface of your tumbler a little bit of a sparkle because that's going to help later when we want to fill in all of our tiny little gaps in between our rhinestones. I feel like having a sparkly surface underneath your stones just makes everything look more full. If you have any spots that you can't fit a stone into, um, I think it just helps with the coverage. Now with our rhinestone scatter, we are going to do a rhinestone decal as well. So I'm going to put that on my tumbler now. You can do this before you add your epoxy if you want to. It's totally up to you. I decided to do my coat of sparkly epoxy, put my decal on, and then I'll do another coat of epoxy over this to seal everything in and give us a really good surface. So I'm starting with my offset. Now this offset I made, I believe at 0 0.06 inches wide, and you'll want to keep an eye on how big you make your offset compared to how big the stones that you're going to use are for your offset. So if you want to use smaller stones, I would make an offset that's about that same size. And this will take some trial and error. You'll just have to mess with it and see what it looks like in person, compare with the size of your stones, um, and then just go from there. But my offset is 0 0.06 and I used SS6 white stones. Then I'm going to go in with my top portion of my decal and I'm using a Tiffany blue kind of vinyl. And again, I'm going to use those aqua stones on this area in a multitude of different sizes. Definitely for your decal, you'll want to grab some super small stones. So I'm going to use some SS3 size in the aqua color, and those helped me out a ton. Once the decal was placed, I added another coat of epoxy to the tumbler, and then I did a full round of sanding. And now I'm going to go in and start adding my rhinestones. So starting with the aqua portion of our decal, I'm using liquid fusion here to adhere my rhinestones. You can use any sort of adhesive that you want. Um, but basically what I'm doing here is taking the liquid fusion and now you can use a needle nose bottle if you want. I really don't like them. They always clog. So I just use the regular bottle and I'm just going to very carefully put the glue in that aqua section of my letter. And then I'm going to take all of my stones and I've got all my sizes mixed together except for those SS3s, which you can see I've got in a separate container just so I can grab them easily and fill in any gaps that we might have. 
But basically you're just putting together a puzzle here. You wanna make sure that you stay within the lines the best you can, just grabbing stones, working in really, really small sections. So I'm going to finish the aqua portion first and you'll see towards the end of my aqua decal, I start working in the white a little bit just because things got a little crowded. So I'm gonna take my SS6 stones, put them in a different tray, and I'm gonna start working them in those areas where the white is. So anywhere there's a white decal showing, I wanna try and put some white stones in there. So in the middle of the letters, in between the curves of the letters and everything, I wanna make sure that I put those stones where they belong because that's gonna really help our decal pop out from the rhinestone mix that we're gonna put on the rest of the tumbler. So I'm doing that and then also filling in with the aqua as I go. Probably should have done that from the very beginning, but you know, you just learn as you go sometimes. <laughs> So there are a few different ways that you can do this. If you want to do them both at the same time, you can. If you want to do your aqua first and then go back and do your offset, you can. Or if you want, you can take your white stones like I'm doing here with this letter. You can outline everything first and then go in and fill in with your colored stones. It's totally up to you. However you want to do it, whatever method works best for you is totally fine. So once I was done with the aqua portion of my letters, I went around the edges, finished my white outlines, and then I started to add in that spring court mix just around the edges and then in all of those tiny little holes with our decal. So anything that's in the middle of our decal that's gold, we're going to put the spring court mix in. And now at this point, I did give in and I filled up a needle nose bottle to try and get in those little spaces but even with putting the lid on it clogged up on me so I abandoned it very quickly quickly um, but if you like to use them be my guest totally fine I prefer my regular bottle and my popsicle stick though so whatever works for you totally fine All right, so the decal portion of the tumbler is finished, all of the wording and everything. And now basically what I'm going to do is start at my decal and I'm gonna work with the spring court mix all the way around the decal. And then I'm just gonna work my way around and we're going to fill the entire cup up with the spring court mix. So in all for this tumbler size, the 20 ounce traditional, not including the decal, obviously. I used about two and a half bags of the spring court mix, and then I bought one bag of each size of aqua, so that's three bags, and then I bought one bag of the SS6 stones. So just in case you wanna know how many stones you need, I would buy two and a half bags of the mix, three bags of your solid size for your decal. And that will depend on the size of your decal as well. Um, and then one bag of whatever you're gonna use for your outline. So I'm going to work in really, really small sections here. Every time I do a rhinestone tumbler, people comment and say they don't have the patience or they could never do it or all kinds of things like that. And I will tell you, I felt the exact same way when I saw all these rhinestone projects coming up and I was like, oh my gosh, that takes way too much time. I could never do it. But honestly, I just do it in my kitchen. I put on a TV show and I just kind of zone out and I work in really, really small sections. So I'll do like a two inch section, step away for 30 minutes and then come back and do another two inch section. The whole deal I think is to just not try and do everything in one sitting if you don't have a lot of patience because it's really easy to be like, okay, I'm sick of doing this. But if you do it in little small spurts, totally fine. So in all, this cup took me a lot of hours because I took a lot of breaks. But one of my favorite things to do is just sit with a TV show on, do a little section. It kind of gets relaxing after a while. So watch a TV show, watch a movie, turn on a podcast, Whatever you can do, just use it as kind of like a relaxation technique. And also, if you're ever sick or recovering from something, this is a great thing to occupy your time. I recently had some oral surgery, so I was in my bed with my little tray watching TV and rhinestoning this cup. So if you're ever not feeling well, this is a great thing to do. <laughs> so once I was done rhinestoning, obviously we're all done with the tumbler. So here's what the final design looks like. I cannot wait to use this tumbler. This is gonna be my new go-to coffee tumbler. And I really love this spring court mix. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, love you. Bye.
Ooh, 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 ooh. That hurts. Hello, it's me. Uh, what else do I want to say? Don't know what to talk about. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Made by Manny and Mal. You can join my mentorship group at the website on your screen. I'd love to have you in the Elite Fam. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already so you don't miss any of my new videos. And while you're here, here's another video for you to check out. I want to say a huge, huge thank you to my channel members and my Elite Fam members. You guys make this channel possible. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.